Wow. Oh my goodness. Can someone please put on the brakes? If you're like me, you're noticing just how fast we're cruising through this first month of 2024. As we're already putting up our Valentine's Day decorations, it's important to pause and review the latest in the housing market, especially if you have plans to list or buy your home this year. So what's the latest housing data for Long Beach? We had seen a slowdown in sales last month in December, mainly due to the time of year, but both sales and inventory are increasing starting this year off strong with 7% more inventory nationally over last year at this time. And unless rates drop dramatically over the next few months, causing an elevated high demand, lower inventory market environment, this trend is expected to continue in upcoming months. Hi, I'm Stephanie with eXp Realty. Okay, let's look at what's happening in Long Beach, California. At the time of this recording, there were 140 active single family listings, 89 pending homes, and 102 sold homes in December. The average list price was $1,075,444, and the average sold price was $1,060,056. And homes were on the market an average of 25 days. Not bad for the slower holiday season, with sellers receiving 100% of their asking amount on average, with more than half of the listings finding a buyer and opening an escrow within two weeks' time, and 45 of the 102 actually selling for above the asking price. And there have been 44 single-family homes sold this month thus far, with over 60% closing at or above the seller's asking amount. So we're already trucking along with good buyer demand, with much of the nation showing a positive inventory growth pattern and many states having total inventory for sale that now exceeds last year, it should provide more options and opportunity to buyers. However, here in the West, and especially in California, having recovered from last year's higher mortgage rates, is one of the states that still remains below last year's inventory. And not just by a bit, we're talking double digit percentages, especially here in the desirable Southern California communities. We do have an expanding amount of pending sales. So many buyers are already taking advantage of locking in home ownership in 2024. So we'll have to see with the changing market how many sellers actually decide it's time to list their homes to make that move? And if there's even tighter supply, if rates drop and there is more competition. If that indeed happens soon, it won't be a surprise that homes would be staying on the market for a shorter period of time and there would be less inventory. And notable to mention that there are not any key indicators currently that show a big surge in home prices this year, or conversely, a flood of homes coming to market. But more likely, more stability in rates, moderate price increases, and sellers that need to sell due to life events, and expert predictions that it wouldn't be until probably mid-2025 before any recession catches up to housing and we see any possibility of more distressed inventory coming to market. And we should see changes in the data, specifically in the pending escrows and price reductions numbers way before that happens. So stay tuned here and get the info before you see it from the traditional media outlets. And connect with my team and I today to get more information Let's talk about your real estate goals and strategize on how to best prepare you for your move. I'm Stephanie, and this is how technology, strategies, and service can move you.